గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ మల్టీప్లెక్స్ వైండింగ్ సో ఇన్ కేస్ ఆఫ్ మల్టీప్లెక్స్ వైండింగ్ సో వెన్ ఎవర్ మోర్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ పార్లర్ పార్ట్స్ ఆర్ రిక్వైర్డ్ విత్ ఎ ఫిక్స్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ పోల్స్ సో వెదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ లాప్ వైండింగ్ ఆర్ అ వే వైండింగ్ అ మల్టీప్లెక్స్ వైండింగ్ ఈజ్ యూజ్డ్ సో యాజ్ బీ నో దట్ ఆర్మేచ్ కరెంట్ ఈజ్ ఫిక్స్డ్ ఫర్ అ గివన్ మిషన్ సో ది కరెంట్ పర్ పాత్ క్యాన్ బీ రెడ్యూస్డ్ బై using uh, more number of parallel paths so more number of paths can be obtained by using multiplex winding so instead of simplex so we'll go for the multiplex winding so here in the table we can see the type of winding so it can be a lap or wave winding so number of paths available in case of so simplex duplex triplex quadruplex okay so as per the syllabus we go for duplex winding so lap winding so with respect to simplex so in lap winding p number of poles will be p and in wave winding number of uh, parallel paths will be 2 so in case of lap winding number of parallel paths available will be number of poles so when i go for duplex winding for lap number of parallel paths will be 2 times the number of poles and in wave 2 into 2 number of paths will be available in case of wave winding so how the interconnection uh, between coil and uh, coil ends to commutator segment is will be shown here so here you can uh, see for simplex winding so if we start from one it will be connected to two but in case of uh, duplex winding it will be connected to the another alternate segment okay so here in simplex lap winding the two ends of coil are connected to adjacent segment obviously the commutator pitch is plus or minus 1 so here you can see if it is a progressive winding so it will be connected to adjacent segment that is 2 so if it is a retrogressive winding it will be connected to 1 and n suppose if it is a duplex winding in a duplex lap the two ends of a coil are connected to alternative segment that is commutator pitch will be equal to plus or minus 2 so that you can see in this diagram so when we start from the first segment it will be connected to the third segment for progressive winding if it is a retrogressive winding it will be connected to n minus 1 so this is regarding connecting the windings with respect to lap so in case of uh, wave winding so simplex wave winding so it was connected from 1 to x and uh, x is connected to some uh, value that is segment as 2 so whereas in case of uh, retrogressive winding so it will be connected to n at the end so in case of duplex winding so simplex the formula what we used was c plus or minus 1 divided by pair of poles so when we go for duplex winding so yc is equal to c plus or minus 2 divided by pair of poles that's a small change when i go for go duplex winding so the degree of re-entrancy so this indicates the number of uh, winding paths okay so when we go for degree of re-entrancy suppose if it is a, a singly re-entry then the overall conductors will be connected in a single circuit if the degree of re-entrancy is 2 then the number of winding will be traced twice okay so the degree of re-entrancy of a winding represents the number of independent closed armature circuits okay so consisting of armature coil connected in series so like uh, 1 2 3 etc if the degree of re-entrancy is 1 then the winding is said to be singly re-entered if the degree of re-entrancy is 2 then the winding is said to be doubly re-entry so a winding is said to be singly re-entry if there is only one electric circuit so where all the active coils or conductors are en encountered or returning to the starting point. A winding is said to be doubly re-entry if there are two electric circuits. So that is Z by 2 conductors will be connected in each circuit. So as shown in the diagram below. Okay, so for simplex winding, so these are the uh, number of commutator segments. Okay, so we are considering eight commutator segments. So it's, since it is a simplex lap winding, singly re-entry. So when we go for singly re-entry, the overall circuit will start and end at the same point. So it is a single circuit. 
so i'll start from the first competitor segment which will be connected to the uh, adjacent segment that is 2 next 3 4 5 6 7 8 and again it is coming and finishing at the same point so this is the singly re-entry circuit suppose if it is a doubly re-entry or uh, when we go for duplex winding then we will get either singly re-entry circuit or the doubly re-entry circuit so in, when we go for duplex lap winding singly re-entry so let us start from uh, first uh, commutator segment so in case of duplex it will be connected to the alternative segment so from 1 it will be connected to 3 so from 3 it is connected to 5 so from 5 it is connected to 7 from 7 it is connected to 9 and again from 9 it is connected to the next alternative segment that is 2 so it is not coming at the starting point so it is continuing so that's why it is called a singly re-entry circuit so from 2 it is 4 so 4 to 6 so 6 to 8 and from 8 to 1 so this is the single circuit which has been traced so in case of duplex winding this is how the singly re-entry coil will be existing so when i go for uh, duplex lap winding doubly re-entry so considering eight commutator segments so starting from one it is connected to alternative segment that is three so three to five five to seven so seven to one so this is one single circuit so again i'll start from two so two to four to four to six so six to eight and eight to two this is the second circuit so it is a doubly re-entry so uh, circuit has been entered twice so there are two closed circuits so that's why we we'll call it as a doubly re-entry circuit so this is the actual uh, uh, rule which has to be implemented when we go for duplex winding so this is the this will be the first step okay so when we go for the rule to determine the degree of re-entrancy okay so in case of lap winding the degree of re-entrancy is hcf between the flux of the winding and number of coils so this is the main important so when i go for lap winding the hcf will be between flux whether it is duplex or whether it is simplex so generally this rule will be applicable for duplex so flux of the winding duplex it will be two and number of coils when i go for wave winding the degree of free entrancy will be the hcf between flux of the winding and the commutator pitch that is yc okay so let us go for a small example so 30 coils duplex lap so since the hcf between two that is flux is duplex two and uh, number of coils are 30 so it is two so the winding is doubly re-entry so this indicates that there will be two winding tables Similar when I go for second numerical 31 coils duplex lap since the HCF between 2 and 31 is 1 so uh, HCF is 1 the winding is said to be singly re-entry so single winding table will be existing so these are some of the examples so similarly when I go for wave winding okay so 18 coils duplex wave 4 poles YC is equal to 18 plus or minus 2 divided by 2 okay so here whether it is a progressive winding or a retrogressive winding so if it is a progressive winding so we will be considering it as a plus so 20 divided by 2 it is 10 if i go for retrogressive winding it will be 16 by 2 it is 8 so hcf between 8 and 10 or if i go for hcf between uh, 2 and 8 it is 2 and 2 and 10 it is 2 so the circuit is doubly re-entered Similarly, if I go for next numerical, 20 coils, duplex wave, 4 poles, YC is equal to 20 plus or minus 2 divided by 2. So, it is 9 or 11. So, we are getting an odd integer. So, only singly re-entry circuit will be available in this numerical. So, with respect to this, details of lap winding. So, there is no much difference with respect to the previous details in case of simplex and uh, when we go for duplex just a uh, slight changes in a uh, few cases uh, that is in few procedure points back which yb is equal to z by p plus or minus k always yb must be an odd integer so this formula holds good for both simplex as well as the duplex so next front pitch yf is equal to yb plus or minus two times the value of flux of the winding 
okay so here this condition comes into consideration so two times the value of flux of the winding if it is simplex 2 into 1 so the same formula yb plus or minus 2 if it is duplex then it will be 2 into 2 it will be 4 so yb plus or minus 4 for duplex lap winding similarly for triplex so yb plus or minus 2 into 3 that is 6 so the rest of the other things are same next brush width will be flex times the width of the commutator segment so in case of simplex we used to consider uh, one segment width but here it will be two segment width for duplex winding similarly for multiplex wave winding so we will see this when we go for wave winding so now let us go for a numerical so problem on multiplex lap winding draw the developer winding diagram with the following data number of coils 20 number of poles 4 type of winding double layer duplex progressive lap so already has given it as a progressive lap winding so it is a double layer number of conductors will be equal to 40 so please note this it will be applicable for both lap as well as the wave winding the degree of re-entrancy also indicates the number of winding table and sequence diagram corresponding to the winding table so corresponding to every brush on the developed duplex winding diagram there will be two brush positions on the sequence diagram so similarly corresponding to every brush on the developed triplex so triplex winding is not there forget about this triplex winding so now with respect to the numerical number of conductors are 20 sorry number of coils are 20 so therefore the hcf between 2 and 20 is 2 the winding is doubly re-entry so the circuit will be two closed circuits will be taken into consideration so number of conductors is equal to 2 into 20 which is equal to 40 so back which yb is equal to z by p plus or minus k so which is equal to 40 by 4 it is 10 so yb must be an odd integer so plus 1 it will be 11 say 11 or if you consider minus 1 also no problem okay so here we are considering it as plus 1 so it will be 11 so front pitch yf is equal to yb plus or minus 2 into types of uh, uh, 2 times the flux of the winding since it is duplex 2 into 2 it will be 4 so yb is equal to y sorry yf is equal to yb plus or minus 4 if it is simplex it will be 2 so 11 since it is a progressive winding minus 4 which will be equal to 7 so now with respect to this if i carry out the winding table so with respect to yb is equal to 11 and yf is equal to 7 and conductors are 40 so starting from the first conductor so 1 it is connected to 11 so that is 1 plus 11 is 12 so 12 minus 7 it will be 5 so if you see here the difference between the two coils will be 4 whereas in case of simplex it will be 2 so continue the table so where one repeats so if you see here there are 40 conductors okay so in this table there will be only 20 conductors so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 oh, sorry 10 so here it will be uh, 10 into 2 both the side so it will be 20 so where is the another uh, uh, 20 uh, coils so if i see here already one has been started so next starting conductor will be the third coil so start from the third coil so 3 plus 11 it will be 14 so 14 minus 7 it is 7 so continue until the conductor 3 repeats okay so in case of simplex after one three was the second starting uh, coil okay so similarly here we are considering it as the third conductor so this is the winding table so number of segments is equal to number of coils which is equal to 20 number of brushes is equal to number of poles which is equal to 4 brush width will be equal to two segment width so now according to this let us go for the diagram by using autocad so type units For centimeters so okay next limits 0 comma 0 enter 500 comma 500 enter zoom enter a enter 
so we'll go for line draw line switch on the ortho some distance so now there are 20 coils that is 40 conductors so we'll go for array enter number of rows will be 1 number of columns will be 40 column offset it is 20 select the object select this line enter say ok so there are 40 conductors next go for bilayer I need the bottom conductors it is a double layer go for others go load ISO dash space say ok ok so now select all the even conductors Go for by layer and select where the dotted lines have been considered. Enter close. So now as per the winding table, number the conductors. So go for M text. Set up the conductor to increase the size. Okay, so bring this number, switch out the octo. So double click on this, so extend this. Now we can number the conductors. So this is four. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. So, okay. Now, one go for line, which on the ortho. So, one is connected to as per the winding table, one is connected to 12. This of the auto, go for rotate, select the line, enter, select the base point, take 45 degrees. Next, go for the line. First conductor connected to 12. Enter for rotate for the object. Enter take the base point here minus 45. Enter go for trim command. Right click trim the unwanted portions. Now this is the dotted line. Consider the dotted line. So now go for array. Enter. So, columns 20, column offset will be 40, select the object and say ok. So, here 4 conductors, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the end conductors, you can see 5 will be end conductors for select also, go for copy, so select these 2 conductors, enter. So consider this as the base point and connect the 
conductors which are left at the left side. So now back pitch connections over. So let us go for front pitch connection. So with respect to the winding table, so one is connected to eight. Okay. So I'll go for line. So connect from one, which is connected to eight. Go for rotate. Select the object. Enter. Select the base point at first conductor minus 45. Enter. Similarly, go for line. Draw line from one to eight. For rotate. Select the object. Enter. Take the base point at eighth conductor. Type 45 degrees. Enter. Now go for trim command. Right click. Trim command. Right click. Remove the unwanted portion. So this is the dotted line. Go for by layer. So this is the dotted line. So now go for array. For array, enter, same 40, select the object, select this, enter, say OK. So here three conductors left, so three will be the end conductor. Go for copy, select the last two, enter, take the base point here, and connect the conductors towards left. So these are the end conductors. So number the end conductors here. So go for M text. So as per the winding table, this will be two. So go for numbering one, only one conductor. So later I'll uh, number the conductor, arranging it properly. So switch off the objective snap. Now double click on this. This is two. Next four. Next six. Next eight. Next ten. So there are five conductors. Okay. So these are the five conductors just to be numbered. So if I see the winding table, so this is the conductor that is 31. So 31 is connected to 2. And the 33 will be connected to 4. So go for winding table. See here. So there is 31. Just you can see. So 31, this is the back pitch. 31 is connected to 2, next 33 is connected to 4, next 35 is connected to 6, next 37 is connected to 8, 39 is connected to 10. So this is 39th conductor which is connected to 10. So similarly towards left or in the front pitch connection, the same numbers I will repeat here. This would be 2, 4, 6. So this is as per the winding table. Okay. So front pitch 2 is connected to 35. So go for winding table. So 2 is connected for 35. So this is the front pitch connection. Cross connection will be the front pitch connection. 2 is connected to 35. So 6 is connected to 39. So 4 is connected to 37. So 4 is connected to 37, 6 is connected to 39. So come towards left, so control C, control V. So number the conductors is 33, next 35. Next, 37.
थर्टी वन थर्टी थ्री थर्टी फाइव थर्टी सेवन दिस इज थर्टी नाइन नेक्स्ट कंप्लीट से थर्टी फाइव थर्टी सेवन एंड थर्टी नाइन नेक्स्ट ड्रॉ लाइन चंदी ऑब्जेक्टिव स्नैप और तो फ्रॉम दिस कॉर्नर ड्रॉ लाइन टू सम डिस्टेंस सो ट्वेंटी प्लस थ्री इट विल बी ट्वेंटी थ्री गो फॉर अरे सो इट विल बी ट्वेंटी थ्री So column offset will be forty. Select this line. Enter. Say okay. So just draw. Close the end conduct connections. Now extend towards right as twenty centimeters. Enter. Next buffer line. One year twenty. Enter. So for R A, enter. So now it will be twenty-four. For object, so like this. So okay. So these are the number of commutator segments. So as usual, number the commutator segment. This is the first commutator segment. This will be numbered as one. So already. Next is there. Control C, Control V. So this will be the first conductor, which is coming to this commutator. So number this as first commutator segment. Next, it will be two. Next, the third commutator segment. Next, four. Next, fifth segment. Six, seven, eight. This will be nine, ten, eleven. This will be twelve, thirteen, next fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Is nineteen. This is the twentieth computer segment. So rest numbers you can get it. Say so, okay. So how to number these computer segments? So if you see here, this is the two second sec conductor. That is the second coil, which is connected to thirty-five. So two is connected to thirty-five. The number is eighteen. So represent the number as. This is eighteen. Next nineteen. Next this is twenty. So number of counter segments has been done. So next direction of rotation. Go for polyline. Draw a line with the arrow, showing you uh, consider it as a generator. Width W enter, so twenty enter zero enter. This is the direction of rotation. So you can type the text. Next, fix the poles. Go for uh, calculator.
so total number of uh, calls conductors are 40 into distance between the two conductors are 20 divided by total number of poles which is equal to 4 so tau value is 200 the pole pitch is 200 so 0.7 times tau into 0.7 so 140 is the pole arc next 0.15 into 200 that is tau it is 30 so from the starting conductor buffer line so from the say select the midpoint so from here the value will be 30 enter now go for rectangle I know the dimension type D enter so length of length is 140 that is pole arc value is 140 enter and width we can enter it as 30 or 40 or whatever it is so I'll just I'll type it as 30 so here I connected the pole so go for copy select the pole enter select here So fix the pole at this corner and now delete this line. So still if you want we can increase the size of the pole that is width of the pole. So if I want I can increase the width. Uh, once again I will repeat the pole. Go for rectangle select a line select a point so i know the dimensions so here it is uh, asking area dimension rotation i know the dimension I'll type d enter so length it is asking length always it will be 140 that is uh, 0.7 times tau and width i can go for any value i'll go for 50 enter so this is the pole now go for move command select the pole enter select the base point at the midpoint just move okay so before that uh, i deleted one line so that is uh, go for line so from the midpoint so this length is uh, 30 type 30 enter so now go for move command select the pole enter take the base point at this uh, center and fix it here exactly now you delete this line now go for array enter so total number of poles 4 type 4 in the column column offset will be the pole pitch that is tau it is 200 now select the object select the pole enter say ok so four poles will be fixed now name the poles so north pole south pole name the poles this is north pole This is the south pole. Next, north pole. This is the south pole. So, okay. So now directions so as usual under north pole it will be downward direction go for polyline so click here type w enter we'll go for 10 enter 0 enter so for copy select this enter 
have the base point switch off the auto as well as the objective snap show the directions so only inside the pole we have to show the direction so between the two poles it is an interpole it can be any direction this for north pole Next, go for rotate. Select the center. Select the base point. Switch on the objective snap. So 180 degrees center. Rotate. Snap is 180. So now go for copy. Select this enter. Select the base point at the corner. So now let us fix the brushes. So consider the line from the mid of the pole. So now the brush width is two segment width. So two segment width. So the distance between the two conductors it was 20. So now it will be 40. So take a line from here towards right as 40 from here towards left it has 40 go for line so from here it is 40 enter next again go for line so from the middle take 40 enter so now this is the two segment width pole so here with respect to this we can see two conductors will be coming in contact with this brush so earlier in case of simplex winding so only con one conductor was coming in contact to this brush but here in case of duplex you can see so this conductor is coming in contact to this brush and here the another so conductor is coming in contact to this brush okay so that's why the two polarities will be represented in case of duplex so go for array enter so brushes four brushes segment uh, column offset will be 200 select this enter say ok so now since it is a progressive lap winding so under north pole it is a positive brush polarity so represent the brush polarity as positive positive brush polarity is negative and it is positive the north pole next it is negative and that's okay we want to increase the size we can increase the size certain does go for 20 So name the brushes, say this as A, say this as B, say this as C, say this as D. So 
Opportunity Brush Polarity. So go for jump here. Go for trim command. Right click. Positive and this is negative. So just to go for more, move the diagram a bit above. Now draw the sequence diagram. So go for line. Since there are two winding table, so two sequence representation has to be made. Go for array. Enter. So total number of columns will be 21. Column offset will be 20. Go for select the object. Select the line. Enter. Say OK. So similarly, same thing you can control C, control V. It is better. Go for connecting the back pitch. So connect the front pitch here. So go for trim command. Right click. So first. Conductor will be going to back pitch. So go for alternative connections open. So open the slots of the alternative ends. Again, you can go for select this copy and control V and paste next to this. Okay, so now. According to the winding table, so number the conductors. So go for text. So first conductor. So go for text. So conductor 1. Resize the conductor. Then say OK. it somewhere here later we can move So the numbering will be done as per the winding table. So this is the first conductor. Next this will be so one plus eleven. It will be connected to twelve. So next this will be five. Next four conductors difference. So twelve plus four it will be sixteen. Next to five plus four this will be nine. Next 
16 plus 4 this will be 20 x 20 plus 4 this will be 13 x 24 next 17 x 28 next 21 next 32 25 next 36 next 29 40 next 33 next 4 37 next 8 this one so just to move a little bit down now similarly Distributing from 3. Next to 3 is counted to 3 plus 7 will be 14. Next 7. Next 18. Eleven, twenty-two, fifteen, twenty-six, nineteen, thirty, twenty-three. 24 27 28 31 so 42 it will be 2 35 6 49 10 last 3 so now according to this so the number of uh, parallel paths will be 8 so two conductors are coming under single brush so 2 into 4 it will be 8 so what are the conductors which are coming in contact with this brush so that is so 1 and 8 so 8 is having downward direction since it is positive brush polarity under north pole so 1 and 8 excuse me 1 and 8 will be downward direction so go for line draw line Go for direction, so go for copy, so let this is downward, so both 1 and 8 will have downward direction. Next conductor, so it is uh, this conductor, it is 3 and 10 so 3 and 10 will be in the other uh, sequence so 
this is downward direction next again in the north pole this is the conductor that is uh, 21 and 28 so 21 and 28 it is here so both downward direction 21 and 28 next our conductor will be 23 and 30 so 23 and 30 will be in the other sequence so north pole done so two brushes so here we are getting four draw line so now this is the positive brush polarity control c control v So we can number which is A and which is B. So this is brush A. This is brush C. It is polarity. Next, on the south pole, we can see this is the conductor. That is eleven and eighteen. Okay, so eighteen is uh, having upward direction. So eleven and eighteen will be having both upward direction. So eleven and eighteen. Next, another conductor. It will be thirteen and twenty. It will be in this sequence. Next thirteen and twenty. Next, coming to brush D. It is thirty one and thirty eight. Thirty one and thirty eight. Next, thirty. Three and forty. So there is thirty-three and forty. So draw the lines. This is brush B. This is brush D. So now it is brush polarity.
now go for alternative connection that is direction so go for copy connect this delete so go for copy since this is down it will be up so here it will be down up or it will be down so here up down up or it down down up down up down already up down and up so you can see third connect is having the same direction next go for copy go for upward direction enter select the base point copy select the base point now go for the alternative connections up, down down up down up 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 so similarly at the other side so this is down up this is down this is up this is down this should be up down up down up down up down up, up down so one is having both down or direction so for copy upper direction so for alternative direction Whenever there is no direction, you the direction. So this completes the numerical. So now with respect to this, if you want to cross verify the directions, yes, we can cross verify the direction. So here, this is the third. 3, 4, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are having downward direction. So three downward direction. Next four downward direction. Five downward direction. Six downward direction. Seven downward direction. Eight downward direction. Similarly, this is thirteen up to nineteen. So thirteen must be upward direction. 13 upward direction 14 must be upward direction so 14 upward direction 15 must be upward direction 15 upward 16 upward 16 upward 17 upward 18 upward direction 19 upward direction upward direction so this is how we can uh, cross verify the directions the conductor so convert this to PDF so we'll go for file go for plot here go for DWG to PDF file here select the paper size is a four sheet go for what to plot display window so now you can select the full diagram which has to be printed so center the plot so say okay. So name this as duplex drawing. Duplex lamp. Let's see. So this is how the diagram will be. 
checking when you will go for taking the printout. So next similarly when we go for the uh, diagram so this is the uh, diagram which has to be represented so what we have done it is similar to this okay so next uh, if i go for the second uh, numerical draw the dialog binding diagram with the following data number of coils 19 number of poles 4 type of winding duplex lap so here he has not given whether it is a progressive winding or a retrogressive winding and he has not given whether it is a, a double layer or a single layer so always preferably choose as a double layer winding so since uh, hcf between uh, hcf between uh, 2 and uh, 19 it is 1 so the winding will be single re-entry so obviously only one winding table will be represented so assuming it has a double layer winding so number of calls is 19 number of conductors are 38 so yb is equal to z by p plus some minus k 38 by 4 it is 9.5 so consider it as uh, minus 0.5 then yb will be an odd integer that is 9 so yf is equal to yb plus or minus 4 that is 2 in 2 into times of the flux of the winding that is 2 into 2 it will be 4 so 9 since he has not given whether it is a progressive or retrogressive so preferably choose progressive winding for lap so 9 minus 4 it will be 5 so then the winding table will be represented like this so 1 plus 9 it will be counted 10 10 minus 5 it will be 5 so all the conductors will be represented in a single table so proceed the diagram so this is the diagram how it will be represented so you can see since there is a single winding table the sequence diagram will be drawn in a single circuit so this is the another uh, uh, lap winding Progressive. Next, we will go for a wave binding. Thank you.